Hello, this is Gary Simon from HowToDesignYear.com, and in this video tutorial, we're going to take a look at how to create a cool 3D monitor effect and impose our own image in the screen, and then look at how to um, create the effect that we have 3D streamer things coming out of it. Um, I'll explain a little bit more about what I mean as we go. So, first step, let's go ahead and file new, and let's just choose 600 by 500 pixels, 72 resolution, hit OK. All right, now let's go ahead and double click that. Make sure your layers windows is up. And first thing we're gonna do is find, um, and I already found it, um, a 3D monitor, uh, well, an actual image of a monitor. And I found this one here. So I'm gonna right click copy image. I'm gonna include this, should be at the bottom of the video tutorial here and I'm just gonna paste it in and then I'm going to go to edit transform flip horizontal and then CTRL and T at the same time and then hold shift and scale it down just a little bit then hold select the move tool hit apply alright um, you can also go to filter sharpen sharpen I actually kinda don't wanna do that though Alright, so one of the very first steps here is um, taking the pen tool. And the pen tool has uh, different modes here. Initially, you're selected as, um, an actual shape layers, which that's a mode where if we just start drawing out, it fills it in with color. Uh, we don't want to do that, though. We want to select this middle one here, which are actual paths. And we're going to take the magnifying glass zoom up and then select the pen tool with this middle paths mode selected and we're just gonna s square out the actual screen portion it's the four corners and then end it right there and then in the layers panel we're gonna click on paths we're gonna right click on work path and select make selection Make sure feather radius is zero, anti-alias is checked. Hit OK. Then it just kind of uh, selects this portion, the square portion. So let's take the magnifying glass, right click, click actual pixels. And now it's up to us to determine what we actually want to go inside here. Um, for this tutorial, we're going to select an actual web page. So say if you have a web page and you want to um, uh, impose it in here as if it's actually a part of this photograph then go to your web page I'm just gonna select propsd.com and unfortunately I can't get the whole thing here but that's fine and I'm gonna hold ALT and the print screen key and that basically uh, screenshots that specific window and I'm gonna go to edit paste into let's go back to our layers window there and as you can see, it's the full size, um, so we can work with that. And what we're going to do is go to hold CTRL key and T, and then hold Shift and scale it down. Let's bring it over here, scale it down more, and scale it down just a little bit more. And then we're going to go to Edit, Transform, Distort. And then we're going to move each point, each corner here, to where it would normally be in the monitor. And then hit the move tool up here and hit apply. And there you go. That's pretty. It's obviously a pretty simple process, um, and it's pretty effective as well. Um, and that right there. Uh, you can do with any any type of image. It doesn't have to be a screenshot. It can be someone's face, you know, whatever you want it to be. Um, now, let's say for example, we put it in a site here that was about that allowed visitors to say, for example, stream uh, videos, uh, and this is going to be a graphic you use as a part of your home page. Um, well, what we what we could do is. Um, just kind of play off of the streaming idea and create streamers in here and we could do that by uh, 
selecting the pen tool but going back to shape layers mode and let's just go in there let's uh, zoom up left click drag and start creating these streamers here so with the pen tool maybe just like three points here create another one there and then come back and then connect it up there maybe put one right here Hold ALT, left click and select that, and then uh, maybe a few more here, drag out, maybe one over here, coming out that way. maybe one big one coming out of the actual center or par part of the screen here ah, I don't want like that basically you want these things to look like they're flowing naturally as well All right, now let's take the magnifying glass, right click, select actual pixels. All right, now that looks kind of weird at first. It doesn't flow too well, so we're gonna um, give each one a gradient. So let's select the very first one over here, double click on the right hand side, and then select gradient overlay. You see it automatically changes this one. And let's click on the actual gradient color over here and let's change this double click on this white one just pick her over there make it a light light blue color like right around there hit OK and let's reverse these just put this one over here hit OK and then hit OK Oops, actually let's go back to that. Just drag this down or click this little down arrow and then select the gradient overlay. And let's change the angle here. Alright, that's better. Hit OK. And then right click and select copy layer style. Then take this, right click and paste layer style. And do that for each layer. You're right clicking. And there you go. So it has these, just a weird, you know, very brief uh, streamer effect here. And then what we could do is just take the type tool, start streaming now, and then hold CTRLT. Let's drag this out, make it, oops, CTRLT, and uh, drag that out while holding Shift, make it big, hit apply, right click and duplicate that drag it down let's change the text by going to the text layer I don't know maybe we provide you with free live video streaming I don't know then CTRLT scale that down hold shift hit apply select the type tool select the color up here of the text change it and there you go uh, it's it's a real simple effect you could do whatever you want with it really uh, but as you can see it looks pretty cool um, and it works so be sure to check out the other video tutorials at how.2designyour.com thanks